Hello, this is Sam Philosopher sitting in once again and to my G blog and uh, today I want to talk about the subject that is that is in my opinion grossly misunderstood both in the religious and especially in the secular uh, circles um, and that is about Theocracy. What exactly is theocracy? Um, um, most reli re religious groups don't even know exactly what it is. And if you, you if you ask the the secular the secularist what it is there. Tell you, oh, it's a, it's a totalitarian government run by uh, uh, religious authorities or the, 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 the union of church and state. It's a, tot it's a totalitarian regime. Um, it's, is with, run by run by the religious leaders or something of the sort um, um, and I think uh, it needs better, better def, 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 definition because um, if, if there was a an, a person who was who had a good grip of what um, theocracy was was the the um, the late pastor Ephraim the third uh, Ephraim Babette Senior. He wrote an entire book about the subject. Um, particularly, he was not. Uh, um, Focusing on his audience were not secular, but he was talking to religious people, those who in the church himself, because they did not know what it was, what theocracy was. Um, let me put, um, let me tell you, um, what it is it what what it is and that will clear up any error into what it is not okay um theocracy just simple and plain is a government oh there's a word of the rest uh, a government run or controlled by god himself um, in other words, it's a government solely dictated by God. Um, so, uh, um, it's it's not it's not a a, a government uh, dictated by religious leaders, although the they they have a, a they they may claim to speak for God but but uh, let me let me clarify uh, uh, a little bit theocracy in its purest in its purest form doesn't uh, is government controlled by and run by God himself in other words God in to uh, to to compare it to our state this government God is the one who makes the law who makes the law of uh, which the law is is found in his word 
God is the only one who interprets the law in it. Um, who has the real interpretation of of what this word means? So in order to know what it means, you have to go directed to Him uh, to to ask what it means. And God is the is the only head of state which appoints or removes people in leadership in his government and uh, in his government so uh, uh, in other words in a pure democracy there is not a middleman a middleman be between the governor, the government, and the government. You mean, uh, there's no, because, uh, uh, the, the churches today, particularly in the popular church, the Roman Catholic Church, those who speak for God, you know, generally are people with great authority um, or are ecclesiastic, what is known as the ecclesiastical authority. Particularly, it, this great example is the, um, the, the Pope. The Pope um uh is known as the supreme pontiff which means he is the supreme the the mediator between god and man he's a vice vice or the representative of jesus well no well we go if if we if we go back to the original meaning that there's a um there's the one you no know, God doesn't uh, work through uh through a middleman he goes directly so so in in the words God uh, works that his talk is working directly in every place directly to the people he's dealing with so so the, uh, to be a middleman to if there is a middleman if there's somebody a man or several men controlling then there's no longer a Theocracy is a religious fascism. That's that's the difference. That's the confusion that some get, the secularists get. Oh, theoc when he's talking about when he starts talking about God or uh, under God, also oh man, he's going to take to theocracy. He's going to totalitarian. What? Well, no, that's not a theoc. That's a religious fascism. That's a religious um, regime. That's not theocracy. Theocracy is put in form is a, a is a government solely directed by God, and we have already uh, a government in place that met, uh, that uh, that fulfills those requirements. The church is in itself a theocracy because the church is the only body or government structure that is directly controlled by God. As you have all the congregations and they're all oh uh, they, they're all independent. Uh, they all have uh, um, 
the structure, but each and every one follow the God's word, the the law, which is God's word, and and each one is given marching orders by God Himself. It, so uh, God places a leader in each one there, and you no, know, and each congregation works in harmony.